Hi everyone, my name is Julie Sebi. I write the Analytics Corner blog that focuses on data engineering and analytics with Alteryx and Spotfire. If you don't really want to watch a video, you can find the written version of this post on my website shown on the screen. If you learned something today, please do me a favor and share this link on social media or subscribe to my channel. A lot of times I start writing a blog post and think that my particular topic isn't enough to write about. It's too simple. But some of my simplest posts have been the most popular, and that's kind of how I feel about today's subject. But I'm going to go for it and hope that this is new content for a lot of folks out there. The theme for today is speeding up runtime and your overall workflow development cycle. And to do that, we're going to take a look at a few settings in the runtime tab that maybe you don't know about. Now, if you're not familiar with the runtime tab, you can access it by clicking on any white space in your canvas. It's in the workflow configuration pane and runtime tab as shown here on the screen. Now, let's take a look at three different settings. First, there is the cancel running workflow on error. And I want to know sooner rather than later if my workflow generates errors, especially if it has a longer runtime. Waiting to find out that something needs to be fixed is just frustrating. I mean, how many times have you thought, yep, this is my last edit, it's done, it's going to work, but then it doesn't. You know that feeling. And so this setting will kill the workflow when the first error is generated, which will overall save you development time. The second setting that I want to talk about is this one right here that says disable all browse tools. Browse tools ultimately make your workflow run slower because more data is being pushed through them than all other tools. And it's annoying to add and remove them. And it's also annoying to open and close containers uh, holding your browse tools. That's not really a lot better. But with this option, you can disable all browse tools with one click. And as you can see, the tool icon will change and it will be grayed out and inaccessible as long as this setting is enabled. So it does give you a bit of a visual control so that you know that the setting has been put into place. Lastly, I want to talk about disable all tools that write output. This does roughly the same thing as we just discussed for browse tools. And this can be useful uh, for several reasons, partially because outputs can take a long time to write, or perhaps you don't want, you just simply don't want the output to be written. We recently went through an upgrade where we had to test all of our workflows, and I didn't necessarily want the workflow to write an output. I just needed to see that the whole thing, that the workflow would run. And so I used this to quickly and easily disable all of those outputs. And again, you can see that there is that visual control. If, uh, if you're worried about it, you can always add a comment in bright red to remind yourself that this setting has been enabled. So these are the free runtime settings that I use frequently. If you have any other settings or configuration changes that you use, please leave a comment.